Hi, and welcome to What's Up Williston, our monthly TV show where we take a closer look at things going on in our community. I'm your host, Town Manager Eric Wells. Happy New Year. This month, I sat down with Recreation and Parks Director Todd Goodwin to check in and see what's going on in our recreation programming, talk about our new indoor recreation space, the Rec Zone, and take a look at our outdoor uh, skating rink. We finally got some good snow and ice to get people out there. I sat down with Todd earlier today. Joining me next is our Recreation and Parks Director, Todd Goodwin. We're going to check in and see what's going on in Recreation and Parks. How are you doing, Todd? Good. Thanks, Eric. Glad to be here today. Appreciate it. Nice, uh, nice snowy morning out there. So. Yes, it is. Uh, ski and ride day. Ski and ride day today. So. Oh, that's right. Down, down at Cochran's, right? Yep, Cochran's. Yeah. How many, um, how many students are participating this year? Uh, two hundred and twenty-five participants and twenty-nine student instructors, which are seventh and eighth graders. So we're up around the two fifty, two fifty-five mark. Oh, or so. Yeah. Is that one of our higher numbers, or is that? Kind of uh yes it's, yeah oh. increased enrollment it's slowly increased back up to up to and beyond since covid oh. so we're excited good day to be skiing yes won't keep you too long but you know, get out there uh so a, a number of interesting things going on uh, in your department um one thing is a new photo contest that, that you're launching for the program guide how um how can folks get involved in, in that yeah, so um, yeah, we are doing a photo contest for a cover photo. Decided to do one photo, that's the whole cover, um, to make it look like a magazine type of a thing. So we, um, in the last couple of weeks, we've reached out and asked people to send in photos of their families participating in, you know, rec program or at the uh, at a community park. And we got about a dozen or so, and we picked, the rec staff picked three of them that we thought would make good, they're good photos um, and would make good photo covers. And so now the voting is is open on those three and people can go to our, our homepage and our website and there's a, a under announcements, it explains that and there's a, a link to click on so people can vote on a, a Google form and they see the three pictures, they can vote for which one that they feel. So we're involving the community to send us pictures, but also to vote and then we'll use that as our cover photo on our spring summer program guide. And we hope to do this on all of our guides going forward. It gets us great pictures. Plus also, um, if people are sending us some pictures, then they're okay with having their family on, on the front cover, which is a good thing. Yeah, that was great. Great, great way to highlight what's going on and get everybody involved to, to vote for the, the photo they'd like to be on, on the cover here. Yeah, and our spring summer guide will be ma mailed home uh, probably about mid February or so. So we'll get a chance, and I think we're going to use those other photos throughout the guide to get the people's permission to do that as well. But deadline for voting is this Sunday, the twenty first. So hopefully people will click on that link and vote for their favorite. With the guide, you know, spring summer. What what months does that cover? Uh, the spring summer guide covers March through August programming, and then we send out another uh, guide fall winter, which covers that'll go out mid August and it covers September through February. When, when can folks start signing up for those programs? Um, is it right about when when the guide goes out? Yep, as, as soon as the guide, as soon as you got the guide home, programs will be up and running. Probably they go online for registration a day before. We know the guide's going to be in the in the in the homes, um, and the other thing that we're doing separately from our spring summer guide is a camp guide, and that's going to be mailed out early February, um, for camps that are June, July, and August. We typically encourage folks to register early for camp, right? We sometimes camps can get filled up pretty quickly, and if there's a camp that that someone's interested in, to you know, jump on it and, and get their name in. Yeah, um, there's already people asking us when the camp information will come out. So they're looking for that here in January. But it, the guide will be uh, early February. Registration opens February 8th for residents and a week later for non-residents. So residents have a chance to get into those camps that fill quickly and are very popular. Um, you're looking for summer staff, um, camp counselors. That, that's probably something coming up soon. 
Yep, uh, that's actually posted we, we, uh, on our website as well uh, under announcements. We have uh, job postings for um, head counselors, uh, camp counselors, regular counselors, junior counselors. Um, so we're reaching out to past year staff last year summers and asking if they're we're returning, but we're also looking to uh, get in applications of people that are interested in working with us. So we put stuff out to the colleges. Um, it's posted on our site and it will be taken to the uh, town site for job postings and they get it all its explanations and job descriptions are there of how to apply and, and go for it. So we, yes, we have started that process. We'd like to start it early to get the good people. A great, great opportunity for people to get engaged with a, with a good summer job working for a, a recreation. Yeah, um, college kids um, that are looking to work with, with students, a great experience. Um, you know, teachers or TAs or any of those that are working in the school that have the summers off uh, that want to continue working with kids and enjoy doing that. We're looking for those type of people. Any uh, any camps this year you, you want to highlight? Any any new enrichment camps or, or anything that comes to mind or just, just in general what, what our camps look like? Yeah, we'll have our day camps, uh, rec camp and the LIT for the older kids. And then the hour camp, which is more of an adventure camp type of, uh, you know, for sixth through eighth graders that are looking to be outdoors and be more adventurous. Um, the enrichment camps are lining up to be about the same. Uh, we were adding a new multi-sports camp, and I know Alex is hard at work um, finalizing some uh, gardening programs, more kitchen food. Uh, you know, we have the baking camps that are really popular, but bringing in some more um, cooking and food prep and that kind of stuff. So those camps are, um, you know, are, are the newest ones. Plus, we're always looking for instructors who are interested in offering camps or programs, you know, throughout. So just like we have job postings, we're always looking for instructors as well. Yeah. Summer's coming up before we know it. So it's a good time to be thinking about that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So I want to spend some time too, Todd, talk about our, our rec zone. It's a it's an indoor space in town leased um just about a year ago. We started getting it set up and started offering programming last spring. Um Sure, folks who aren't familiar with the rec zone, kind of, kind of what it is, and and how the department's uh, got it up and running uh, over the over the last year, and some things that that's being offered there. Yep, um, it's a two thousand square foot space that we have split into two areas. One is a active area for fitness programs and any type of programs where you just need an open space for some moving around and stuff like that. The other area is set up with tables and chairs for more educational or programming that, you know, is kind of sit down and working on something. The It's all one space, so we can't do those two programs at the same time, but it's a nice setup where we don't have to tear down and set up for each of the different types of programs. So there can be a fitness program going on and that finishes and a half hour, 15 minutes later, another program can start that's you know, with the tables and chairs, uh, an educational type of program. Uh, we opened last March, so it's almost a year here that we'll be going. Um, we've had some senior fitness, some um, dance classes, jazzercises going on um, right now. And those are ongoing programs where you just kind of drop in, uh, pay five or $10 per class. Uh, you don't have to you don't have to pre-register. You're not paying for six weeks of a program. Um, so we're, we're, we're looking to bring more of those types of programs in um, as, as we grow it. We're also moved some of our programming that we had in the school, like dog training, um, you know, that we could only do nine months out of the year and not the summer. Now we'll be able to do it year round. And we've brought in other programs like Hula Hoop Fitness, yoga, uh, we're working on a fencing program, possibly table tennis starts at the end of the month. Uh, people can register for now as for re registration is open now so they can register. It's a pickup program, um, you know, only taking so many so we don't, don't uh, overbook it. We got four donated uh, ping pong tables. So um, 
you know, it's really great. There's a group out there that that looking to do that. So we're excited about that. So again, just bring it in programs that we can do things, programs that we can do year round that we can offer at all times of the day or on the weekend. And also uh, programs that are ongoing where people can drop in, try them and pay like five or $10. Uh, fee each, each class. So it's, it's a great, it's been a great addition to recreation programs and helped us to grow our programming. Um, and we're excited about it and, and look, looking to do more. And basically we're only limited by the instructors that we haven't met yet and haven't created a program with to put it into that. So if, if there's instructors out there that looking for a space to, and they want to work with us, We've got the space and we want to work with you. Great. Right, yeah. For, for many years, space has been a challenge for us. So now we've, you know, we've got a space we can utilize. And you know, it's really like you, you name different types of programs we're offering there. So you know, wide spectrum of interests and, and idea and uh, things to participate in. It's you know, really um you have the active recreation, classroom style, different uh, instruction, dog training. So it's now yeah. encourage folks to take advantage of trying out our new space or you know, your instructor and you've got the talent you want to share with others. So um, yeah, we're, we're game to take on, on most things. So definitely uh, appropriate to the space, I guess. If we yeah. Can, we can have you out here and uh, appropriate to the department's mission. Yeah. We have a program proposal that people fill out, submit to us, and then we look it over and we get a hold of them. We do a, um, uh, what's it called? We do a, we look, we meet them at the space and we get them to look, you know, look over the space and see if it'll work for them. And if it does, then we find time and we put together that and put it on our website and have people register. And, you know, so we, we have the space, we need, we need the instructors. And once we get the instructors, we need the participants and the, then the programs that go and that it's successful from there. We're really using this as you know our initial pilot within our space too. We're grabbing a lot of good information and data. That the town did a comprehensive um, community survey last year as the first part of a, of a big project initiative here to look at an indoor community center recreation space and really get the library and future at the same time. And recommendation from that steering committee is to kind of look at these as two different pathways for these projects, pursuing an addition on the library and exploring. Um, a community recreation center site looking in the tap corners, the pro center area. So we're really learning a lot from what the community first their great participation in the survey, but then having this space to, to learn about um, what different types of things could be offered. The, the town's going to be um, continuing that project coming up here. Some more funding was uh, appropriated for it. So we're kind of we'll kind of continue to work on these um, the idea of the potential of what this could be and and the financial aspects of it in the spring. So um, another thing, you know, some upcoming programs, you mentioned the spring and summer guide coming out. Um, maybe some programs you want to want to highlight from that club? Uh, yeah, right now, um, you know, we still got January and February of our winter months. So we got Dangerous Girls uh, program coming up and Ninja Intro for a lot of different age groups. And those are done by Onada Studio over in the rehab, uh, in the Kismet building. Um, and they're a great partner. And that's another thing we do is we partner with businesses that are offering programs um, already. And what we do is we kind of, um, we, we take registration for those programs that they're already doing. So we take up some spots and we help to, to get people because people are coming to our site to look for and hey, they're seeing a dangerous girl and dangerous girls is for 14 and older. So it's a great program for a mom and daughter to take together, um, teaching self-defense and, and stuff like that. The, the ninja intro intros are um, Taekwondo intros. So it's a great program. Uh, they also do a ninja science during the February school break. And then we have a woman's pickup basketball that still has openings. Uh, we do do men's basketball and we do volleyball, but those are filled at this time, very popular, but there is a women's basketball on Wednesday nights that still has some, some spots in it that people can get involved with. So those are some of the ones that we have coming up. 
And then, like I said, Alex, our program coordinator, is working on the camp stuff, but he's also working on the spring summer guide, um, looking to bring back a lot of programs that we've done in the past, but also looking to bring back uh, bring some new ones in. And again, as always, we're looking for instructors for those those programs, new programs that we could bring in as well. A great options out there for folks. Thank you, Scott. Um, she mentioned uh, outside. Um, I think that our, our ice rink in the village community park, something the town purchased back during the pandemic. Uh, or you've been been out there shoveling and making ice. So how about what's the uh, what's the conditions as of today? Uh, as of today, the rink has been shoveled off, um, and the ice is good. Uh, we opened up yesterday with some some good ice. It's we've had great ice but we haven't had enough of it all season long. There's been a thin layer, but it hasn't frozen through with all the warm weather. And then with all the rain that we've gotten, it's um, it's quite high. It's probably about twice the amount of water that from when we initially put in, into it with all the rain and, and the melting that we have. So um, there's a uh, there's a lot of ice, but it's, it's, it's good right now. And the rink is open. And anytime that we close it or open it, we'll, Posted on Facebook and also on the homepage of the of the rec website, so people will know before going. Uh, but when it is closed, with the gate uh, fences up the, that we have around it, um, blocking the entrance, and the entrance is by the warming hut, as you said, by in Village Community Park. So it's a great place. Um, there are lights there until nine thirty, so people can go at night as well. Um, great outdoor activity in the winter time. Uh, just to generally want people to skate there. You know. People want to bring a hockey stick or a puck. Um, kind of what uses are, are allowed on the ice? All uses are allowed, and we ask everyone to uh, use it together and share it. Um, on one side, definitely some a group could you know have sticks and pucks. Uh, the other side, it can just be the free skaters or um, figure skaters or anything like that. So. Definitely, it's a 60 by 60 rink, so it's a good size uh, for everyone to share at some point in time. And, when, and that's like all of our facilities. We ask that people share, um, play together, and uh, invite other ones right, so into play. Uh, as, you know, like tennis, pickleball, basketball, everything like that. If you're using a court, you know, invite other ones to, to come and use it with you. Yeah. Cover time that you want to share. Uh, no, that that's about it. Uh, you know, I did had you did you touched on it. I have the, the camp counselors po job posting. You know, we're, we're we're doing that now, and again, the biggest thing is we're only limited by um, space and instructors and participants. We now have the space. We're looking for the instructors, and once we create the programs, we just need the participants to register for them, sign up, and um, yeah, we'll have a lot of good lifestyle, act, active lifestyle activities for the community of Wilson to do. Yeah, uh, and what I can do is- I Thanks, Doug. Thanks for talking about Right, thank you, appreciate the time. Lots going on in the Recreation and Parks Department. Our, our director, Todd, and, and uh, Alex, our program um, coordinator, do, do a great job there. So, so next this month, we'll look at our community notebook, uh, a few things to be aware of uh, coming up here in Williston. So as a reminder, the final tax installment is due for the fiscal year 2024. Uh, that's due by February 15th. Um, you can have your, your taxes uh, dropped off into the drop box. Um, we, we have one, one in the parking lot. You can do a drive through um, at Town Hall or one in the back of the building. Um, by February the 15th, or we need a postmark by that date if you're going to mail in your in your taxes. And we are gearing up for Town Meeting Day 2024. It's right around the corner. So Willison's Town Meeting will take place on Monday, March 5th in the Willison Central School Auditorium at 7 p.m. We'll have an overview of Town Meeting articles, uh, the Town Budget. We have a couple bond questions that'll, that'll be up uh, on the ballot as well. Then we um, have to be a school budget presentation as well, an opportunity to ask, ask questions. Then we'll have Australian ballot voting um, for articles on Tuesday, March 6th. That'll take place at Wilson Armory um, next to the Town Hall Annex in the Village. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. 
You can also vote absentee or vote early. Um, contact the town clerk's office if you would like um, to receive a ballot early. And you can always, um, oh, <laughs> Tuesday, March 5th. <laughs> I've, uh, there's a typo in my slide here. Um, Monday, March 4th, and Tuesday, March 5th. I think I looked at the wrong month here, so thanks to the producer for the correction here. Um, so everyone's aware, Monday, March 4th, and Tuesday, March 5th. As a reminder, Williston 2050, our next town plan. Um, we've been doing some community outreach um, the last few months here. We had some great community roundtables. We've had a community survey set up as well. We're calling Williston 2050, help, help plan the future of Williston. What we'll do is have this open till the end of January. Then the planning commission is going to be drafting the town plan language, um, transmit that to the select board, likely uh, this summer sometime. And then the new town plan would need to be adopted by uh, the uh, midway through 2025. So um, opportunity to get involved, help share your, your thoughts and, and ideas for the future of Williston and, and get engaged with, with this uh, great process that we have set up. Reminder, we're on social media. You can follow the town on Twitter, like us on Facebook. A number of our departments also have social media accounts, police and fire departments. Um, they're certainly active on theirs, recreation department as well, and our library. So always looking for feedback and segment ideas. Um, contact information is on the screen. Um, send me an email, give me a call, stop by town hall. I always uh, like to hear from, from anyone in the community. So that's going to wrap it up this month here on What's Up Williston. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm Eric Wells, Williston's town manager, and I'll see you around town. Take care.